Hi everybody and welcome. I was working with the Ignition SCADA and I was connecting my Ignition SCADA with remote MySQL database but at that time I am facing some error in Ignition SCADA. So in this video we are going to see how we can resolve that kind of error in Ignition SCADA. So if I open my Ignition Gateway homepage and if I go to database connections and if I try to create a new connection with MySQL database okay and if I press next you can see here the mysql driver is missing required files please see the help page for the information about how to install the necessary driver file for your database so some of the database related files is missing in my system so i need to install that file to work with the mysql database connectivity so we will copy this error we will save it here okay now if you go to database and drivers here also you will see mysql status as error either require files are missing or class name incorrect so there is one file is missing in my system so how do we install that file in our system so to install this you can see the help page link is available here so we will open this link in a new tab and then we will scroll down and the issue we are facing with the mysql database so here we have a link to download something which is related to mysql database so we will open this link and here we will press on go to download page and then we will download windows x86 32 bit msi installer which is around 437.3 mb okay you can directly download from here so if you press download and if you just uh, click on this no thanks just start my download the download will start but i have already downloaded in my system is it's on my desktop you can see the size is 437 MB okay so we will double click this installer to install our missing file okay so you can see my SQL installer in this installer we only need to install mysql connector for java so we will click on custom and then we will press next here you can see mysql connector so we will expand it and you can see connector slash j so we will expand it connector j 8.0 and then we will install this one okay so we have to move it to the product to be installed and then we will press next and then we will execute to start our installation so it is installed in my system now we will press next and then we will press finish okay now we can go back to our ignition and then in the database driver we are going to mysql and then we will click on edit and here we will click on browse and then after you have to navigate to local disk c program file mysql and then you will find one folder connector j8.0 and you have to give a path to this jar file okay so we will press open and then we will save changes and then you can see whatever error we are facing here or whatever the status of that error it is gone so our issue is now resolved now if i go to connection and then if i try to create a new database connection for my sql database it will let me create that connection it won't give me any error which we are facing previously this error is resolved so if you are facing same error while connecting with your mysql remote database or local database then all you have to install is mysql java connector okay and i have already show you that how you can download that product from here so if you can go back windows x86 32 bit msi installer which is community installer so if you click on download then you can see just start my download mysql community download so it will have all the required software but from that we only have to down install mysql connector for java okay so i hope you know that how we can resolve this error so if you have any question or any concern related to this error you can ask me in the comment also you can ping me on the telegram or you can comment me on the video okay so see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you